Well. All right. So in order, you know, for losers' side, in order for them to qualify for top eight, they have to win two games. Yep. You. Yeah, losers' bracket, you do have to win an additional game. So there being more sharks in that water. Yep. Right, but so yeah, I was gonna say uh, Afterburn, normally the one who, from what I'm told, wins the Emporium tournaments, as run by yeah. IPG in the. Uh, in the group. Won the one this past Wednesday when right. I was out there. Unfortunately, I was the way the brackets oh, were at. I was one game short of being able to fight him. Oh. I was really excited. Everybody wanted to see it. But anyways, I have front player one side with this Ken. Player two is going to be the Eli Curry. All right, and right now Eli already starting off with some command grabs. Going in. Ooh, with the second one. Can we get a third one? Yes, we can. Thank nice. you. So one of the things that I think about Afterburn when I played is that he really likes to do the wake up light toss if you know, like to train. Well, we didn't see it there, but that's still the first round. So yeah. well, perhaps, you know, he's still just kind of feeling him out. Okay, nice gets the crowd strong, anti-air. Anti okay, nice anti-air from Eli. Good Both players are really keeping the other person grounded. Strong through the game. Nice throw break. No step plus. Okay, gets the fourth round. That's oh stunned. This might be the round. Oh, that's the round. He is dead. Max damage combo to Eli the Curry. Not happy about being a loser. And that was fast. He is. Laura wins. He is bobbing his head. He's got his earbuds in. He's giving himself a freestyle <laughs> right there. He is feeling himself in every way possible right now. At the burn. He's got to wake up and yep. stay alive here. It's like, so it, it's hard, right? So on one hand, you know, you got to shake those kind of rounds and games off. Those, those, those are more uh, situations. But this is only two out of three. One more of those and he's going home. Yep. Okay, probably. Oh, oh gets the stand the first, but he doesn't combo into that fireball. And Afterburn just blocking. Yeah, oh. Afterburn just blocking. Honestly, that's kind of his downfall right now. He's blocking, I think, a little too much. He's a less represented DB. Yeah, he's just like, he might just have his way right now. Yeah, he, he is not throwing here. out one DP. He's not. Now, I understand the risk involved with it, especially against Laura. But in this two. case, you're on the verge of losing Point. convincingly four rounds straight. Yep. I'm going to let one rip to, yeah. to let you know, hey, it's not your turn anymore, big fella. I'm cashing in yep. my money in the bank called the Dragon Punch. <laughs> That's a burn. Trying to stay a little bit more active and neutral here, but Eli just looks so strong right here. Like, I can appreciate wanting to be defensive and not really throw out random jack and punches and start matching, but the term of life is on the line. Yep. Okay, nice anti air. Oh, he actually has a shimmy, but it doesn't look like he was going for that, per yeah. se. I think it was one of those situations where he was, like you say, wasn't going for wasn't looking for it. He doesn't have the reaction time. Oh, that was so tricky. This might be death. Yes, yes it is. And MB Eli the Curry advances on the top 12. Burn. So but he looks lost. He oh, looks yeah. extremely lost. He, so he's like, I don't know what happened. Yeah, he's like, I don't know what I don't know what happened. Yeah. It happened I got so knocked fast. down and I died. <laughs> yep. So uh, Eli is gonna move on.